Hi Aquarius, thank you so much for tuning in to this channel. Welcome to Toy Tarot. Now this will not apply for all Aquarius. This will only apply for who it's meant to be for. Okay, so you'll take what resonates and you will leave the rest. Now this could apply. Oh, that has to be a sign. You hear that? This is something you need to tune into. So with that being said, this will apply to Aquarius sun aquarius moon aquarius rising and aquarius venus and aquarius placements it could be someone that you know or it could just be you know yourself so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and jump into this energy because you're probably wondering you know what's going on so i also want to let you know that your energy is actually going to carry out until june 14th twenty. Well, this year, 2022, okay? Now, it's attached to the super moon that's going to be here in June. So that's, you know, how far your energy will carry out with this situation for some Aquarius, okay? Now, Aquarius, what you received was ask for what you want. Ask for what you want. Let the universe and the other people know what you need. You're being asked by spirit, by God, okay? Walk away from the situation, Aquarius, okay? Leave the unhealthy situation alone and enjoy the new doors. So there's some new doors that are trying to open for you, okay? New doors that you want to open for you, okay? But you may feel like you're out of your element, you know, with this super moon energy, okay? So you may not know how to, um, well, you know how to express it, but you may not know how to feel it, okay? Because a lot of times, okay, Aquarius is an air sign. Okay, a lot of people confuse Aquarius with um, being a water sign because they are the water barrier, okay? So the moment, you know, that tilts over, they feel imbalanced, that water hits, you know, it could throw them off a bit, okay? Kind of like a burn, a sting, okay? Now, you are actually coming out of a um, light cycle and you're entering into a darker cycle, like your shadow self, okay? Now, um, usually when we see dark, you know, it makes us fear, you know, something. You know, it's like a scary type of thing, but you have nothing to fear, okay, with the situation. And tunally, you have nothing to fear, okay? This is going to help you recognize something, okay, about, you know, your life, Aquarius, okay? Now, um, you know, you're going to feel this, you know, inner child energy a little scared, like, oh, that's a big line. But see, your shadow side, this dark energy, okay, kind of like yin and yang, okay, your masculine and feminine energy, right? Your shadow side is going to be here to be your shield, your, um, your guide, your protector, you know, so you have nothing to fear. So you can learn from it, go into student mode, student teacher mode. You can learn from your shadow side. This is within you, okay? To teach you how to, you know, feel, feel these things when you're, you know, in this, you know, this possible Leo energy, you know, the fire, because Leo's a fire sign, okay? And it's kind of like to, you know, calm you down, that type of situation, okay? And give you strength, all right? Now, internally, you also receive the two of swords, okay? This is going to help you make a decision, help you you know, get through the water because you know how I talked about, you know, when you're feeling, you know, off balance, that water starts, you know, touching. It's going to bring you balance, clarity, help you, um, you know, see truth, help you walk on the water, you know. But, you know, if you get a little bit of, you know, a splash on you, okay, it's going to help you understand it, okay, so that you can, you know, navigate through this situation, okay. Now, again, you're going to be guided in this situation, okay. You're going to receive communication. It could be this, you know, but, um, however the communication comes you know know that yes sent from god okay so you're being asked to work through your fears okay remember when we talked about you know it could kind of seem a bit scary okay like the big line okay work through your fears okay um you are good at expressing yourself but um not the unknown type situation okay now once you get out of that there's going to be a breakthrough for you okay 
it's going to be a new start coming for you, okay? Um, you, you pulled Libra. You could have Libra in your chart. Or this is just saying have confidence like the lion, you know. Um, you know how to handle the conflicts with grace, okay? Um, seventh house, you could um, be having some Venus energy to help you out. You could be dealing with the Libra, dealing with Aries. I know somebody, and if not, again, this is just the energy of, okay, with the Aries, it's just saying, like, be patient. I wrote little notes on here, but there's a lot more. I just wrote what sticks out to me, and then I expressed the certain things that I feel that is for you on here that I am meant to tell you, okay? So this is going to help you get through, help your shadow side. Your shadow side is going to give you a bit of this, you know, Aries energy to help you kind of, like, get through that, um get through the waters okay to get through it fast because again you're the water barrier you're not used to you know feeling really feeling those emotions now Aquarius know that even when you start feeling this Aries energy it is not the right time to be assertive okay if you had a question it is not the right time to be assertive it's kind of blurry there we go okay your shadow side is going to give you clarity, okay? Patience is key in this matter, okay? Um, know that your hard work, some could actually already be going through this energy because I see your hard work is paying off. There's a lot of Capricorn energy in this situation, okay? Tenth house, you might feel like you're under a lot of pressure. Get a pen and paper, write down your goals, okay? 